Labour and the Tories are one and the same. Nobody wants to raise this difficult question. The the people that can afford to should pay more, you know, and we're not talking about making them poor or anything. They'll still be mega rich. They'll be richer than all of us in the queue. We just need to take some of that wealth back to fund public services and to stop people starving, to stop people freezing. You know, kids are going to school without, without a breakfast. Kids are going to school and they haven't got the paper to write on the pens to write with or the, the IT to, to, to learn effectively in the 21st century. You know, one of the richest countries in the world and that's the point. It's one of the richest countries in the world, but, but a lot of the people are poor. And that's what you hear on the TV. Oh, we need, we need to uh, grow the pie. Well, it doesn't matter whether you grow the pie or not. If the greedy buggers at the top are the ones snaffling all the pie, we, we're, we're, we're living on the crumbs. It's true, though. We're living on the crumbs. And it's, it's not good enough. You know, we need a fair slice of that pie, that pizza, whatever it is. We need a fair slice. I'm sick of the buggers at the top getting fat on it when everybody else is right starving and that's true but it's it's getting to the third world point now you know when they look at look at other countries and you see these people that are poor if, if we're not careful this free at source uh, NHS isn't going to exist in a decade's time and that's what they want that's why they're running services down that's why they're making nurses pay nine or ten grand a year for their education that's why that they're, they're not recruiting people that's why the work and standards is being eroded because they don't want free health care they can afford it they can have private doctors we'll basically have to suffer if we're not careful and this is the last thing I'll say if we're not careful we're going to end up back in medieval England where you have a bowl of gruel a day you took your forelock and that's your only aspiration in life and honestly that that's the way it's going to end up